Hi, I'm Pablo. My name's Tyrone. I'm Uniqua. I'm Tasha. My name's Austin. And we're... Me hardies? Hoist the mainsail. Arr! Swap the deck. Arr! Weigh anchor. Arr! Hello, mateys. I'm Captain Uniqua, the pirate. You can tell I'm a pirate because of my eye patch. And because I say Arr! If you want to be a pirate, get up on your feet. You can't be a pirate if you're sitting in your seat. Swing your arms to and stand kind of low and make this noise wherever you go. Arr, arr, arr. A pirate, a pirate, a pirate says arr. It might seem strange, just a bit bizarre, but they know you're a pirate when they hear you say arr. Hey, Uniqua, are you a pirate? That I am, Austin. I'm Captain Uniqua, the Petiart Pirate. I'm a pirate too. I'm Captain Austin, with a hook for a hand. Then you know what pirates say, of course. Of course. R, R, R. A pirate, a pirate, a pirate says R. You wear a spare part, a bandana, and a scarf. And they know you're a pirate when they hear you say R. Don't forget the Jolly Roger. Yeah, the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger is the pirate flag. A skull and some bones on a big black rag. We're flying on a ship up above the sails. And we'll search for treasure and be tough at now. Hey, we are going to look for buried treasure, right? Right you are, matey. And look what I've got. Half of a treasure map. It's too bad we don't have the whole map. Arr, but half a map is better than nothing. Now let's go find some treasure. Arr, arr, arr. A pirate, a pirate, a pirate says arr. If you think we're noisy, you're right, we are. Cause we know you're a pirate when they hear you say arr. Let's sail the seas, me bucko. And find some treasure. <laughs> hey, over here, Pablo. Kick it over here, Tyrone. Here you go. I got it, I got it. Hey, look, the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger? That means pirates were here. You know what pirates have? Rotten teeth? Treasure. I'd sure like to find some treasure. If we had treasure, we'd be rich. Hey, look at this. It's half of a treasure map. It's too bad it's not the whole map. Arr, but half a map is better than nothing. How about if we be pirates and follow the map? And find the treasure. Exactly. I'll be Captain Pablo with a peg leg. And I'll be Captain Tyrone with a wooden ear. Great. Let's go look for treasure. Arr! 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 Let's weigh anchor! 
I take to the high seas with the wind in our sails. Hey, Captain Pablo, what if we run into other pirates? We'll make them walk the plank, because we're the roughest, toughest pirates of all. If you want to be a pirate, sail the ocean blue. You go and steal some treasure, because that's what pirates do. We laugh a pirate laugh and dance a pirate dance. We wear a puffy shirt and some baggy pants. R, R, R. A pirate, a pirate, a pirate says R. You sail a pirate ship, you don't drive a car. And they know you're a pirate when they hear you say. for a desert island, like on the map. Okay, but I wish we had the whole map. R. But half a map is better than nothing. R means yes, and R means no. And R means come on, mates, let's go. Say R when you're happy. And R when you're smelly. And R when you're eating your pirate toast and jelly. R, R, R. A pirate, a pirate, a pirate says, or if you think we're tough, you're right, we are. And they know you're a pirate when they hear you say, Arr. Hey, look! Hey, look! Hey, look! What? More pirates! Arr! Captain Austin! Do you see a desert island yet? Negative, Captain Uniqua. Well, let's keep looking. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, do you see any other boats? Nope, no other boats. Arr, where are we gonna catch those other scurvy pirates? What do we do with them when we catch them? Arr, good question. What do you do with the scurvy pirate? Brave their ship and then hot wire it. What do you do with the scurvy pirate? Make them walk the plank. Arr, arr, arr. Arr, I think I hear pirates. Do you mean us? No, I mean other pirates. Do you see another ship? Uh, not yet. What do we do if we find them? Good question. What do you do with the scurvy? And make them walk the plank. We'll grab up all the treasure and put it in the bank. What to do with the scurvy pirate? Load the cannon up and fire it. What to do, do with the scurvy pirate? Make them walk the plank. Arr! Pirates! Arr! It's a raid! We're raiding your ship, you scurvy pirates! Well, we're defending our ship, you, uh, you scurvy pirates! Well, we're the boldest pirates on the sea, and we're gonna take your treasure. No, we're the boldest pirates, and we don't have any treasure. Arr! Well, we're raiding you anyway! Arr! Arr! So we get to walk the plank. Those are the pirate rules. Well, the rules 
follows all the rules. Now get up there and walk the plank. Arr! What do you do with the scurvy pirate? What do you do with the scurvy pirate? What do you do with the scurvy pirate? Make them walk the plank. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Whoa. What was that? What happened? We hit land. It's a desert island, just like on the map. Come on, let's go look for the treasure. Those other scurvy pirates are looking for treasure too. But we have a map, remember? I sure wish it was a whole map. But half a map is better than nothing. Arr! Arr! That's not supposed to happen when somebody walks the plank. We bumped into a desert island. That means we're getting closer to the treasure. Come on! I bet those other pirates are looking for the treasure, too. But we've got the map, remember? Oh, yeah, the map. Sure wish it was a whole map. But half a map is better than nothing. Arr! 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 to do to find the treasure is find the X. You mean all we have to do is find the X. Because it's our map. Our, it's our map. But you'll never find the treasure without our half. But you'll never find the treasure without our half. I have an idea. Maybe we should be one big band of pirates and follow the map together. Yeah, I mean, our. And then, when we find the treasure, we can split it up and we'll all be rich. That would work. All in favor of working together, say R. R. Let's go, maybe. We'll just have to see. Whoa. 
Whoa! The mud pit. Just like on the map. And it's a bubbling mud pit. It certainly is. How are we going to get across? How are we going to get across a pit of bubbling mud? Hmm, it's a little too far to jump. You're right, it is too far to jump. But I think I see a way. That tree? Good idea. You mean walk over the mud pit balancing on the tree? It's gonna be very tricky. Especially for a peg leg pirate. I'm a peg leg pirate. I'm a pirate and I've got a peg leg. Oh boy, oh boy, Pablo. how am I gonna get across? Pablo. Oh boy, I don't know about Hello. this. Oh Pablo, yeah? It's the only way to get to the other side. And that's where the treasure is. I know you can do it, Pablo. Well, okay, I'll try. I'll go first. It's my turn. I'm going first. Gonna walk right across in a single burst. Gotta keep my balance. Look straight ahead. Cause if I look down, I'll get woozy instead. Quick and steady like a little tree frog. Cause there's nothing as easy as falling off a log. Nothing as easy as falling off a log. My turn. I'm going now. Captain Tyrone will show you all how. Gotta keep my balance steady as I go. Cause I don't wanna plop in the mud below. I'm brave, Captain Austin, not a scurvy dog. And there's nothing as easy as falling off a log. Nothing as easy as falling off a log. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. It's my turn. I'm going last. But I have a peg leg, so I can't go fast. I'm Captain Pablo. And even though I hobble, I'm gonna keep my balance and try not to wobble. I'm almost across, it's a long, hard slog. And there's nothing as easy as falling up a... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look out! Careful! Whoa, whoa! Steady! Don't worry, we'll whoa. catch you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whee! Gotcha! That was easy. I told you you could do it. Now let's get going and find that X. Look, up ahead, there's something on the ground. I hope it's the X. Is it the X? Well, no. Actually, it's a T. That's disappointing. No one would ever bury treasure under a T. You're right. We need to find the X. Let's keep looking. Look, a U! Here's a V! I think we're getting closer! Look, a W! T U V W! So that means the X should be right about here! The yes. X! X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. Dig it up! There's a shovel! Well, that certainly is convenient. Treasure! Treasure! We're digging for a treasure! 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 We're digging for a treasure! 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 We're digging for the treasure! We're gonna keep on digging till I hit that treasure! Hey, I hit something! A treasure chest. It's the treasure. It's the treasure. Let's open it. Come on. Arr, arr, arr. Wow. wow. That's a big diamond. It 
It certainly is. It's the biggest diamond ever in the history of the world. And it's all ours. Yay! Yeah! All right! Well, we did say that we would split up the treasure. Arr! But we can't split up one big diamond. Maybe we can all just share it. All in favor of sharing it, say R. R. Now we're the richest pirates in all the seven seas. R. 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 Yes, but what if other pirates tried to raid us and take our treasure? Yeah. That is what pirates do, after all. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. We need to hide it before other pirates come. Hmm. I know what we should do. Bury it! Arr! Bury it! But where? Right here! Right! We just have to put the dirt back in the hole! Right! All in favor of burying the diamond, say Arr! 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 The treasure is buried, and only we know where it is. But what if we forget where we buried it? Uh-oh. Where is it? It was right here a second ago. Pablo. Yeah? It's right here. Oh, yeah. Let's mark the spot so we always remember. How about if we mark it with an X? Arr, X marks the spot. But you know what would be even trickier? What? what? We should mark it with a Y. A Y? Yeah. No one would ever think of looking under a Y. Yeah! yeah. I'm not just a rich pirate. I'm a hungry rich pirate. All in favor of snack time at my house, say R. <laughs> that was a very piratey adventure, don't you think? Yeah, it yeah, sure was. was. <laughs> we got the whole wide world in our yard to explore. Now it's time for us to have a snack. Meet you next time when we're back with your friends the backyard again. See ya. See you later. See ya. See you next time. Hey, it's me, Tyrone. I'm Tarzan. I live in a jungle and I can talk to animals. That's why they call me. Tarzan of the animals. And I do this. Oh! I'm Tarzan. I'm Tarzan. Tarzan the animal guy. I'm Tarzan. I'm Tarzan. Tarzan the animal guy. I live deep in the jungle with the bugs and the beasts and the birds. I understand their noises and they understand my words. Cause I'm Tarzan, I'm Tarzan, Tarzan the Animal Guy. I'm Tarzan, I'm Tarzan, Tarzan the Animal Guy. When I talk, I growl and squawk, and here's the reason why. I'm Tarzan, I'm Tarzan, Tarzan the Animal Guy. Oh! Hi, Tarzan. You're Tarzan.
Tarzan, aren't you? Hey, Pablo. I certainly am Tarzan. I can tell, because I'm Tarzan, too. Really? Yeah. I'm Tarzan the Very Strong. I live in the jungle, I swing on vines, and of course, I do this. Oh, cool. I'm Tarzan. You're Tarzan. Tarzan the Very Strong. I'm Tarzan. You're Tarzan. Tarzan the Very Strong. I bring up big boulders and grind them into sand. And he can lift an elephant in the air with just one hand. Cause he's Tarzan. I'm Tarzan. Tarzan the Very Strong. I'm Tarzan. You're Tarzan. Tarzan the Very Strong. I'm faster than a cheetah and mighty as King Kong. He's Tarzan. I'm Tarzan. Tarzan the Very Strong. Oh! You Tarzan? You betcha, Austin. I'm Tarzan of the animals. I'm Tarzan the Very Strong. Me Tarzan, too. Really? I can tell. Are you Tarzan who doesn't say too much? Oh, cool. cool. Oh, he's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. Who doesn't say too much? Ugh, oh, he's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. Who doesn't say too much? Ugh, oh, he listens close to all the sounds when he takes a jungle walk. Your listening skills get really good when you hardly ever talk. He swings through the treetops with his viney jungle pad. He only says important things, for instance, quicksand. Bad. He's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. Who doesn't say too much? Oh, he's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. Who doesn't say too much? He rarely ever bothers with nouns and verbs and such. He's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. He's Tarzan. Who doesn't say too much? Oh. oh. Hey there. Uniqua. You, Tarzan, too? Nope. Actually, I'm Professor Yumiqua, the brilliant scientist. Oh. You know, I explore unknown places and discover things. Look what I just discovered. <coughs> I've never seen anything like it. Have you? No. Oh. He's a worman. His name is Sherman. <coughs> Him looks sad. I think it's because he can't find the other wormans. He's lost. Where does he come from? I don't know. That's the next thing I'm going to discover, so I can take him home. I could ask him where he lives. I can talk to animals, you know. Well, okay, I guess. But it's not very scientific. What's he saying? He says he's from the heart of the jungle, where there are lots and lots of tall trees. And vines, too. Yeah, long, twisty, tangly vines. And beautiful tropical flowers. <laughs> well, Sherman, here we are. Which way to the heart of the jungle? <laughs> Okay, then let's go this way. See ya. Hey! Wait, Nikwa, hold on. Ugh! You can't explore the jungle without us. You need us to guide you. Ugh! And keep you from jungle perils. Jungle perils? Yeah, things you have to watch out for. Like what? Well, there are canned Sam's. Can't see them? What are those? Bugs so small you almost can't see them. They buzz all around and tickle you. Well, I'm not afraid of bugs. And there's so many trees and leaves and vines, it's hard to see where you're going. You can get lost. That's okay. Getting lost is part of exploring. And it rains hard. I'm not afraid of rain. No, I mean it really rains hard. Well, I brought my umbrella. And, and... Quicksand! Yeah, quicksand. 
quicksand bad? There's no quicksand in the jungle. It's a scientific fact. But you guys can come if you want. Just hurry because we have to get Sherman home. She's gonna need our help. Just wait and see. This is an excellent place to start looking for where wormans live. How do that? Wherever we go, we ask Sherman if anything looks familiar. If it does, it means we're near his home. Where in the world do the wormans live? There's only one way of knowing. Scientifically search and search. Till we get to the place we're going. Hey Sherman, hey Sherman, could this be the spot? He says no way, cause it doesn't have what his home has got. Hey Sherman, hey Sherman, just what things are those? His worming friends, his worming toys, and his worming clothes. Where in the world do the wormings live? In the heart of the jungle, jungle. Where in the world do the wormings live? In the heart of the jungle's heart. Hey Sherman, could this be where wormings might dwell? He says, uh-uh, because it doesn't have that wormin' smell. Hey Sherman, is this where? He said it isn't, and he says he's getting quite bummed out. Don't get discouraged, little Sherman pal. Don't get yourself depressed and stressful. We haven't found your home just yet. But we'll search to Let's go. We've got to get Sherman home to the heart of the jungle. Watch out, Professor Uniqua. That could be quicksand. You could sink right down into it. Quicksand, bad. There's no quicksand in the jungle. Let's poke it with a stick, just in case. Sticks are for Tarzan. I'm a scientist. Me poke it. No, it's not quicksand, but let's keep the stick just in case. I told you there's no quicksand anywhere around here. Come on, this way. Professor Uniqua, wait! Not that way! Uh-oh. I think we should get out of here. There may be can't see around here. Can't see them. Bad. I don't see anything. You can't. That's why they're called can't see them. Except when there's a lot of them. Yeah, then you can kind of see them. Professor Uniqua, let's go before the can't see them find us. And tickle us. Ugh! We can't leave until we find out if this is where Sherman lives. How about it, Sherman? Uh-oh. Scientists always carry it in their bags. Don't Tarzans have bug away? No, we just try to outrun them. That's not very scientific. 
Tarzan's not scientific. You can say that again, but we gotta keep going. We haven't found Sherman Toad in the heart of the jungle yet. This way. Professor Uniqua, wait! Not that way. Ugh! Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Ugh. way. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. But we can't see where we're going. Oh. The jungle's kind of tricky. The path is never straight. And sometimes there's no path at all, which makes it hard to Beautiful flower. This way. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. We're going round in circles. Oh. What a beautiful flower. Uh oh. Us lost. We certainly are. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Ugh. No wonder we're lost. It's the trees. There's so many of them you can't see where you're going. You can't see with all those leaves. And vines. Vines, that's it. Professor Uniqua just swung on a vine. Like Tarzan. But it didn't work. Well, it only works if you do the Tarzan yell. Oh! oh! That's not very scientific. But, okay. Oh! Hey! I can see exactly where I'm going from up here. Oh! Professor Uniqua, wait for us! Um, we're Tarzans, we're Tarzans, Tarzans are swinging guys. We're Tarzans, we're Tarzans, Tarzans are swinging guys. The view is clear from way up here, so here are Tarzan cries. We're Tarzans, we're Tarzans, Tarzans are swinging guys. We must be getting close to the heart of the jungle. Are we close to your home yet, Sherman? <laughs> hey, it's raining. It's raining, it's raining. Uh-oh. Rain is nothing to worry about. I've got my umbrella. It's drizzling and raining and dripping and raining. We're trying. 
room to search and explore. But we can't cause it's raining and pouring and raining and teeming and raining some more. Don't worry, you fellas, I grab my umbrella and this is specifically why. Thanks, Pablo. You certainly are strong. Oh, it's nothing. Very strong Tarzans do that all the time. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> it's always a good idea to bring your umbrella when you go exploring. Sherman says we're close to where he lives. The heart of the jungle. Come on, this way. Professor Uniqua! Hey, wait up! Ugh! Shh! Listen! It's the Wormans. They're all saying, Welcome home, Sherman! Sherman? You're home. Sherman found the other Wormans. All right. Mm. Bye, Sherman. Bye, 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 Sherman. Bye, bye. You. bye. Well, we discovered the heart of the jungle and got Sherman back home. Feel good. Me too. Me three. I better get back to my scientific lab and report our discovery. This way. Quicksand! Tarzan, a few words. I told you again and again, there is no quicksand in the jungle. Oh. Uh-oh. Quicksand, bang. Oh no, it's quicksand! Don't worry, Uniqua, we'll get you uh, out. you guys. Okay, okay. I'm We're sinking going. over Stay here. Stay calm. Okay. Hey, okay. you still got your okay. stick? Okay. You Don't worry. betcha. Don't worry, stay calm. Pablo! Okay. Yeah? Come on. Okay. One, two, three! <laughs> <sighs> Thank you so much. I couldn't have gotten out without you. We knew you'd need our help, Uniqua. Because we're Tarzans, and we know all about the perils of the jungle. Quicksand, bad. You are absolutely right. Oh. 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 Is 
Is that your stomach? Ugh. You know what that means. Snack, snack time. time! When it comes to my house for snack today, we got pretzels. Cool. Pretzels! <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I love pretzels. <laughs> 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 that was a very Tarzan adventure, don't you think? Yeah, yeah totally. We got the whole wide world in our yard to explore. Now it's time for us to have a snack. Meet you next time when we're back with your friends the backyard again. See ya. See you later. See ya. See you next time. Probably just the wind. <laughs> or maybe it's the woolly willigo. <laughs> the woolly what ago? The woolly willigo. A mysterious yeti of the forest who's been hiding for hundreds of years. No one's ever seen him. <gasps> for real? No one knows if it's real. There's never been a picture taken of it. I'm so gonna find it and take its picture. Well, if anyone can get to the bottom of the mystery, it's you, Rob. Woohoo! Yes! Camera's ready. What am I waiting for? Ranger Rob. Picture taken. Yeah, 
but I'm not like most yetis. Most yetis would be all like... Huh? See what I'm saying? Maybe your cousin will be like you. Oh, my cousin! <gasps> must be close. I am just the thing. Ranger get binoculars. <laughs> it's coming from the other side of the lavender field. Come on, Stomper. Thanks, Chipper. Uh-oh. I just remembered. Lavender makes Yeti sleepy. I don't want to miss meeting my long lost. Stomper? <laughs> Cousin. Ranger fact. Lavender makes Yeti sleepy. Hmm. I know. We can zip line over. Did you say zip lining? Yay! <laughs> Yeti sleepy. Come on, Stomper. <sighs> Hiya, Rob. Hiya, Dakota. Uh. Dakota, what are you doing here? Shh. I followed that growly sound here. I think it's the Wooly Willa Go. Me too. I'm going to get a picture of him. Cool. <gasps> Okay. Comfy, wumfy. <gasps> the Wooly Willa Go! Stomper, wake up! You can't <laughs> miss this! Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! <laughs> Eggs and bakey. That's a good one. Rob, maybe you should just let him sleep. But he wants to meet the Wooly Willa Go. He's his long lost cousin. Really? Okay, leave it to me. <laughs> oh dear. Awkward. That was my tummy growling. I crawled in here to pick moss for my salad and got stuck. We'll help you, Wooly. Come on, Dakota. Let's pull. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I know. A little pepper with your salad, Wooly. <laughs> Oh, thank you! Who's this good-looking fellow? That's your cousin Stomper. He can't wait to meet you. And I can't wait to get your picture. Oh, oh no, no, no! Wooly, no! Uh-oh! He's heading for that clamp! Chipper, action mode. Ranger Rob. After that log. Ranger Roth. No problem. So, how about that picture?
adventure. Ah! Wooly, wait! <sighs> wait for what, Rob? Did you find Cousin Wooly? Yeah, we did, but... <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Smell okay? Ooh. How's my smile? <laughs> Too much? Don't, don't tell me I missed him. I I'd love to come out and meet you, but I'm kind of shy, and I really don't like having my picture taken. Wooly, if you don't want your picture taken, I won't take it. We're just happy to meet you in person. Oh, thank you. Cuz! Cuz! Lily, I have a question I've been wanting to ask you. Where have you been all these years? Well, I've just been hanging around. <laughs> oh, dear. There goes my tummy again. Oh, oh a salad? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so, uh... What you been doing for the past hundred years? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Mostly relaxing. <laughs> Nothing like a day in Big Sky Park. <laughs> hey, kids. I've been looking all over Big Sky Park for you guys. <laughs> I heard there was some trouble with a runaway log. Yep, but I took care of it. Did you find the woolly willigo? Sure did. But he doesn't like having his picture taken, so I didn't take his picture. A good ranger is always thoughtful. <gasps> Look, Dad, it's Ranger Rob. Oh, can we take your picture, Ranger Rob? Sure, I don't mind. When I say Big Sky, you say Park. Big Sky. Park! Big Sky? Park! <laughs> <laughs> Dakota! <laughs> awesome. A Big Sky Park elephant train. What you doing at the animal sanctuary? Feeding the baby elephants. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. So, are they ready? Hmm, <laughs> let me see. Yep, their second set of molars have finally come through. The elephant calves are old enough to join the safari. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> attention, park visitors. The Big Sky Park Safari is about to start. Come join us for a look at wild animals in their natural habitat. Okay, now how do you turn... <laughs> I better head out. I'm leaving the safari. I wish I had time to walk the elephant calves there. It would have been great to have them in the safari today. <gasps> Wait, Mom! Dakota and I can walk them there. Sure can. We don't want anyone to miss seeing them. They're so cute. Hmm. Do you know how to keep them together? Yep. Watch. Shrunk to tail. Okay. Looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah! But remember, they're young. Be sure to keep them out of trouble. Have fun. Bye. Oh, I'll get my gear and meet you back here. Ranger Rob? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Better round up the herd. 
trunk to tail. <laughs> trunk tag! You're it! <laughs> Safari starting now. Already? We gotta get there now and fast. Huh? And I think I know how. Come on, I've got a shortcut. The expressway will get us to the safari. And fast. <laughs> Rolly, not again with the rolling. I'll meet you guys at the next stop. Chipper, come in, Chipper. <laughs> Flying mode, Chipper. Uh-oh. Elephant overload. Looks like we're driving. <laughs> Ranger Rob with an elephant. Do the cheer, Rob. Do the cheer. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Big Sky Park. When I say Big Sky, you say Park. Big Sky. Park. Big Sky. Park. So long, everybody. <laughs> oh, nice save, Rob. Thanks, Chipper. Okay. We do not want any more elephants loose in the park. <laughs> That's for sure. Right, Yum Yum? <laughs> yum Yum! Not again. Come in, Chipper. I'll get Yum Yum and meet you guys at the safari. Got it. We'll bring Rolly and... Splash? Meet you at the safari stop. your hat and mittens. Come back here! No. Uh-huh. I'm on it. Come back here! Oh! Gotcha! Stomper and Rolly at the safari. Uh, did I just hear an elephant in the mountains? I've just the thing. Ranger get binoculars. <gasps> Rolly, Stomper, the gondola is not built for elephants. Shipper, action mode. Ranger Rob.
to the end of the safari. Sure could use a baby elephant. Or three. Almost there, Mom! Uh, how are we gonna get him there, Rob? The way we should have in the first place. Drunk to tail. And here we are at the end of today's safari. <gasps> With our baby elephants. Hi, everyone. Nothing like a day in Big Sky Park. Hiya, son. I heard there was some trouble with elephants on the loose. Yeah, but we took care of it. Good job, Rob. And you got him here just in time. A good ranger knows the fastest way isn't always the best way. Ah, Rob! Ah! A little help here, please! Rolly! Trunk <laughs> <laughs> tag, you are it. Trunk tag?
Huh? Sounds like an animal's in trouble. <gasps> it's Quincy! And he's headed for the Big Sky Park Falls! Hang on, Quincy! We'll be right there! He must have floated away from his mom in the frosty fields. Poor little guy, so far away from home. <gasps> Can I take him to his mom? Sure, that's a great idea. I'll pack you a lunch. Don't worry, Quincy. I'm taking you home. Ranger, Rob? So, um, uh, what's in the cooler? Lunch. For lunch time. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> Thanks, Chipper. Ball overboard. <gasps> Quincy, you can play later. Right now, we gotta find your mom. Hmm. Let's see. No problem, Rob. I'll just use my good old Yeti snifferoo. Good thinking, Stomper. Cause a baby penguin smells like its mom. <laughs> Got it. Now to pick up the scent. <laughs> okay. Really. Come on, Quincy. <laughs> Not that way. There you go. <laughs> Quincy, Stomper, wait up! Huh? This is not working. Quincy wants to play and we have to find his mom. Hmm. Yes! I have just the thing. Ranger kit, black pole! You sniff out Quincy's mom and bring her back to this spot. I'll stay here with Quincy so he can play. Meet you back here in a sniffy. I mean, jiffy. <laughs> 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 okay, little guy. This is where you're staying till your mom comes. Once we get your ball back. Okay, maybe just one little game of ball before we go back to the flag. <laughs> <sighs> so cute. Ready? Go! Get it, Quincy! <laughs> wow. Penguins are really great at sliding on their bellies. Chipper, snowboard kick.
gonna find Quincy's mom. Put the super yeti sniffer. Ooh, smells like penguin. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Oh, hi. Are you Quincy's mom? Yep, that's you. Come on. Ranger Rob is with Quincy. <laughs> We gotta go find them. Right. Good plan. You stay here in case they come back. Smart. Rob, I'm coming. <laughs> that was so cool. Huh? Where did the snowball go? Okay, Quincy? She's waiting for you back at the flag. Then what are we waiting for? <laughs> what? <laughs> she was supposed to stay here. Looks like she didn't stick to the plan either. A good ranger and a penguin mom should always stick to the plan. She probably went looking for us. <laughs> okay. New plan. You track down Quincy's mom again, and I'll follow you in Chipper so this little guy can play. Woo! took care of it, and we just found Quincy's mom. Good job, Rob. So, what did Dad pack for lunch? Did someone say lunch? Ooh! <laughs> is he gonna make it? Stop her! I'm open! I couldn't help myself. Touchdown! Yum! to do. <laughs> well, nice try, Rob, but you can't hurry nature. That egg's only gonna hatch when it's ready. 
I know, but I really wanted to hatch in time for Dakota's chameleon show today. <gasps> Look, Dad! Whoa! Looks like Dakota's gonna have a baby chameleon in her show after all. <laughs> Aw, tickles! <laughs>
But it's time to be with your chameleon friends now, Leon. Bye. Huh? I'll be showing you all kinds of cool chameleon things. Even a baby chameleon that just hatched today. People want to see you blend in like a chameleon, Leon. Not looking like a ranger. Hmm. He'll turn blue when we go. Not again. Come on, Leon. If you don't want to be blue, how about brown? Like this guy. He had so much fun hanging out with us, he doesn't want the fun to stop. Hmm. It'll rock Dakota's show if Leon's not in it. <gasps> yes! I know what to do. We've just got to show him how great it is to be a chameleon. Everything to know about chameleons is on this fun fact sheet. Ooh! Stop her! I'm on it! <laughs> Let's see. Chameleons are great tree climbers. <gasps> nice! See how fun this is, Leon? Whoa! <laughs> Chameleons can look at two places at once. Oh, because each eye can look in a different direction. <laughs> Chameleons can change color. Super fun. <laughs> See, Leon? Stomper turned red. <laughs> now it's your turn. Go on. Looks like you made some more friends. What? Now they're all in ranger colors. Just like me. Uh-oh. People want to see chameleons being all kinds of colors, not ranger colors. What are we going to do? Rob, Rob. <laughs> A tree fell on the forest path and no one can get to the show. <gasps> oh, no. I got to do something. Chipper, action mode. Ready for action, Ranger Rob! Yeah! Hang on, everybody! Mommy, look! It's Ranger Rob! I'll have that tree moved in no time! Yay, Ranger Rob! Second, when I left them alone, they went back to being regular chameleons. Hey, hey Rob! Glad we made it in time for the show. We heard you had some trouble getting the chameleon here on time. Yep, but I took care of it. A good ranger knows that animals in the wild should be left alone. Good job, good job Rob. Rob. Let's get this show started and meet Big Sky Park's chameleons. And I'm happy to introduce Leon, a baby who just hatched today. Whoa! <sighs> Nothing like a day in Big Sky Park.
great big beast who's slow and hairy, and a little bit smelly. Plus, yetis stomp a lot. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> it's so great being a yeti, it makes me want to yell. Yeti, 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 yeti! Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm stomping that yeti stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm stomping that yeti stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the yeti. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the yeti. Smell my yeti smell. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the hairy. From the head to my yeti toes. I'll make a sound that's a little bit scary when I blow my yeti nose. I'm big, I'm furry, and ain't no hurry. I like raisins and spaghetti. Stomp, 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 get ready. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the yeti. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm stomping that yeti stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm stomping that yeti stomp. Yetis like to live where it's cold and snowy, so I'm going to my beautiful igloo in the frozen north, and I'm going to stomp the whole way. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the yeti, and I'm stomp, stomp, stomping forth. On a long, cold hike to my favorite place in that igloo in the frozen north. I'm going to stomp up there with my messy hair, kind of dirty and a little bit sweaty. Stomp, 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 get ready. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the yeti. Stomp, I'm stomping that yeti stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm stomping that yeti stomp. You know what else yetis do? We give people snow bellies. So if anyone tries to follow me to my igloo, I'll rub snow all over their bellies. <laughs> yeti, 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 yeti! See ya! Stomp. Come on, Tasha. I'll take your picture outside. Okay, where do you want me to stand? How about over there by the picnic table? Okay. Smile, Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hi, Uniqua. Hi, Tasha. Oh, hi, Tyrone. Get in a picture with Tasha. Okay. Smile, you two. Good one. <laughs> what was that? I recognize that sound anywhere. It's the yell of the Yeti of the frozen north. The Yeti? Oh, for goodness sake, there's no such thing as a Yeti. How do you know? Because I'm an expert. I know all about the frozen north. And I know for sure that there's no such thing as a Yeti. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. Then what was that? Might be a Yeti. Whatever it was, it wasn't a Yeti. Hey, do you smell something? Ew. It might be the Yeti. There's no such thing. Besides, nothing that stinky could be real. Well, maybe. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. But maybe we should follow that sound. And find the Yeti. Or not. And take its picture. Or not and prove that yellies do exist. You mean prove that there's no such thing. Maybe we should get going to the frozen north. You're right. I've been there many times, and as an expert, I know all about it. It's very snowy. Yeah, and... And it's very icy. Yeah, and... And there are frosty mountain peaks. Where should we go? I think we should head north. Yetis like to live where it's cold and snowy. And the further north you go, the colder and snowier it gets. I know. I'm a frozen north expert. Okay, north. Let's see. I'm the expert, and north is this way. Follow me. 
Uh, Tasha, the compass says north is this way. Of course it is, just like I said. Now let's get going. Yeah, let's get snow going. What do we do on the frozen ground? Keep on snow going. What do we do when the wind blows around? Keep on snow going. When it snows in our nose and our eyes and our ears, we just laugh because we have no fears. We trudge on foot through the frozen night. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. When the air gets chilly, we get bold. Keep on snow going. While everyone else is inside sitting, trying not to get frostbitten. We wear extra socks, man. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. Look, tracks. I recognize those tracks anywhere. They're the tracks of the Yeti. Oh, for goodness sake. It just looks like somebody was stomping. They are Yeti tracks, Tasha. There's no such thing as a Yeti, Uniqua. Maybe we should follow the tracks so we can find out who left them. Come on, let's no go on our way. We say yay to the snowy day. Nine pair of socks and we're okay. Keep on snow going. Keep on snow going. Keep on. Somebody's following me. And you know what that means. <laughs> I'll have to give them a snow belly. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Boy, all this stomping makes me hungry. Good thing I brought my raisins. Yummy! Now onto my beautiful igloo. It's so beautiful, it makes me want to yell. Yeti, 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 yeti! The compass says we're still heading north. And so are the tracks. The snowy mountains up These ahead. These are the first ever pictures of Yeti tracks. <clears throat> Those snowy mountains up ahead are called the snowy mountains of snow. I know what everything in the frozen north is called because I'm a frozen north expert. What is those? What? I'd recognize that anywhere. They're Yeti droppings. Actually, they're just raisins. They are two Yeti droppings. Yetis do a lot of dropping because their hands are hairy and a little sweaty. Ew! These are the first pictures ever of Yeti droppings. Get in there, Tyrone. <laughs> Yeti! You guys, it's just the wind. It's coming from right over that hill. To the north. Which, by the way, is called the Hill of the North. We're catching up to him. Come on, come on! You'll notice that it's a long way up the Hill of the North. You can say that again. It's a long way up the Hill of the North. <laughs> Hurry up, you guys. When we get to the top, maybe we'll see him. I don't see any Yeti. We lost him, and we were so close. Mr. Yeti, where are you? Where are you? I want to take your picture. Picture. Unique wash. Mr. Yeti. Yeti. Shh. Unique wash. You should never yell when you're on the hill of the north. Why not? The sound might shake some snow loose, and that would be a problem. What kind of problem? A big problem.
That was a close one. It certainly was. I don't see the tracks anymore. So which way do we go? We keep going north, across the lake. I can't wait to give those guys snow bellies. Yeti, 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 yeti! Did you hear that? Come on, we have to get across the lake. I don't know. That water looks awfully cold. As an expert, I know the best way to cross cold water. How? We paddle across in kayaks. That certainly is convenient. And I'm an expert kayaker. Really? Well, so am I. I'm really fast. Well, so am I. Excuse me. I'm going to get started. I'll see you two on the other side. I'll race you to the other side. I'll beat you to the other side. Ready, set, go! here first. Actually, I got here first. Guys, north is this way. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, for goodness sakes, you come on. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Well, I'm getting closer to my beautiful igloo. And those guys are still following me. That means it's almost snow belly time. Nice one. Come on, over here. Uh-oh. Hey, what's that on the ground? I'd recognize that anywhere. It's Yeti markings. That's not Yeti markings. It's only a snow angel. It's a Yeti snow angel. But there's no such thing as a Yeti. It's two. It's not. It's two. It's not. It's two. It's not. It's two. It's not. I say, we're going to find that Yeti. And I say, there's no such thing. I say, we always got them already. And I say, there's no such thing. It's Disagreement is what we got, so to find some common ground. We have to find what made that sound. Yeti, yeti, yeti. This that yeti again. I say that was a yeti sound, and I say yes it was. I say the yeti doesn't even exist, and I say yes it does. Does not. Does too. Does not. Does too. There's only one thing we can do instead of going.
going. That's okay. A little snow won't stop us. Come on. And sure is windy, too. That's okay. A little snow and wind won't stop us. What do you call it when it gets really, really snowy and windy? As an expert, I'd call it a blizzard. That's okay. A little blizzard won't stop us. But the snow is covering up the footprints. Now that might stop us. Tasha, do you see anything? Well, I don't see the tracks anymore, just snow. And I don't hear that sound anymore, just wind. And I don't smell that smell anymore. I'm just cold. Brr, it is cold. It certainly is. Let's go someplace where we can warm up. Like where? Well, you're the expert. You know, I think I see something over there. It's an igloo. Look, here they come. Right to my beautiful igloo. You know what that means. Snow belly time. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful igloo. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? I'm freezing. Let's just go inside. It is a beautiful igloo. It's nice and warm. I wonder who lives here. I'm sure they won't mind if we just warm up for a minute. What if it belongs to the Yeti? Unique Wa, there's no such thing. And even if there was, he lives somewhere hairy and yucky. Not a nice place like this. Wait. There's that smell again. It smells Yeti-ish. Yeah, I smell something too. Tyrone, what are you eating? Raisins. Raisins? Yeah, want some? No, thank you. <gasps> the smell, the raisins, the sound. What sound? Yeti, 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 yeti. That sound. You guys, we're in the igloo of the Yeti. I repeat, there is no such thing as a Yeti. I say it is a really Snow bellies. I love giving snow bellies so much, it makes me want to yell. Yeti, 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 yeti. There it is again. The yeti is right outside. It's just the wind, and I'm going to prove it. Come on. Look, more tracks. If there's no such thing as a yeti, then who made these tracks? I don't know. And who made that noise and that smell? I don't know. <laughs> and who left those raisins? I don't know, but I do know that there's no such thing as a Yeti. Yeti, 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 yeti whoa! <gasps> what was that? Whatever it was, it's in that pile of snow. I know what it is. I know what you're going to say. But there's no such thing as a... Hi, guys. <gasps> ah! It's a Yeti! A Yeti! Run! Pablo, <gasps> it's you. You're the Yeti. Hi, Tyrone. Hi, Uniqua. Where's Tasha going? Hey, Tasha, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha, it's me, Pablo. It's you? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I told you guys that there was no such thing as a Yeti. Sure there is. I'm the Yeti. Listen. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Doing that Yeti stomp. Stomp, stomp, 
stomp. Doing that Yeti stomp. Yeti, 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 Yeti! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a really good Yeti. Thank you, Tasha. And I should know, I'm a frozen north expert. Hey, Pablo, can I take your picture? Sure. The first picture of a Yeti ever. Get in there, you guys. Three, two, one. Yeti! Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's something else you guys should know about Yetis. Really? What's that? Yetis like to give people... Snow Buddy! <laughs> oh, no! Run for it! Go! What was that? Speaking of bellies, I'm kind of hungry. Want to come to my house for some hot chocolate? Okay. Hot cool. chocolate. Hot Hooray! chocolate. All right. <laughs> Snack time. Got any raisins? <laughs> <laughs> that was an excellent frozen adventure. Don't you think? Yeah. Absolutely. Sure was. We got the whole. The Mountie. That's my special Mountie salute. It's my duty to protect the Mountie Snow Fort, way up north in the Yukon. Mountie on duty. I'm a Mountie and I'm marching through the snow. I'm a Mountie to the Yukon, I must go. I'm a Mountie of perfection. If something needs protection, then there's no better protector you could know. Mountie on duty, Mountie on duty, I'm a Mountie and I'm marching through the snow. Mountie Pablo reporting for duty. Hi, Mountie Pablo. Hi, Mountie Tyrone. Ready to go to our snow fort in the rugged Yukon? Affirmative, Mountie Tyrone. That's how Mounties say yes. Mounties, Mounties on duty. duty. We are Mounties and we're marching through the snow. We are Mounties to the Yukon, we must go. We are Mounties and we're good sports, sports and we like defending snow sports. We are Mounties and we're marching through the snow. Yes, we're Mounties in our Mountie hats and suits. You can tell us by our Mountie suits. Loading all that needs of watching for our Mountie. There's no stopping. We are Mounties marching in our Mountie boots. You know, Mountie Pablo, once we get to our snow fort in the frozen Yukon, we'll be protecting the world's biggest Oh, right. The, the world's, world's biggest, biggest snowball. Mounties, Mounties on duty. duty. To the Yukon. And our Mountie Snow Fort. Forward march. Hop, two, three, four. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Skeepa 
Patroller Uniqua. And I'm Ski Patroller Tasha. We ski through the snowy, rugged Yukon. Looking for people in trouble to rescue. When someone needs rescuing, the, the ski, ski patrol, patrol never, never gives, gives up. up. And the best part is, we give them hot chocolate to warm them up. Mmm. Mm. Ready to ski, Ski Patroller? Ready to ski, Ski Patroller. Ski, ski patrol, patrol to, to the, the rescue! rescue. Now let's head for the rugged Yukon where there's lots of snow and tall pine trees and frosty mountain peaks. <laughs> Ski Patrol equipment check. Shovel, check. Ice suction cups and snow hooks, check and check. Hot chocolate, check. Mmm, <laughs> this hot chocolate smells scrumptious. Let's have a little sip. Tasha, put that back. That hot chocolate is for the people we rescue. They'll need it to warm up. Well, if you say so. Then let's go. Ski, Ski patrol, patrol to, to the rescue. rescue. The Ski Patrol is on the go, skiing up and down the snow. We are here and ready to see. You got snow between your toes or icicles inside your nose. We are here and ready to save you. Ski Patrol is in control, saving people, that's our goal. Ski Patrol is in control, Ski Patrol to the rescue. Ski Patrol to the rescue. The Ski Patrol is on the go, skiing up and down the snow. We are here and ready to save you. Keep you safe if you're cold, we'll kiss your face. We are here and ready to save you. Ski Patrol is in control, saving people, that's our goal. Ski Patrol is in control, Ski Patrol to the rescue. Ski Patrol to the rescue, Ski Patrol to the rescue. Ski Patrol I'm sure it's just up ahead. There it is! Our Mountie Snow Fort. Isn't it beautiful? Come on, Mountie Pablo! To the Snow Fort! who needs to be rescued, Ski Patrol Tasha? Nope, nothing but snow. Well, we'll just have to keep looking. Right, because there's got to be someone out there who needs our help. Let's go, Ski Patrol. Ski, Ski Patrol, Patrol to, to the, the rescue. rescue. It's time to do our duty, Mountie Pablo. Protect our Mountie Snow Fort and the world's biggest snowball from Fort Invaders and Snowball Raiders. Mounties on duty! Ski Patrol to the rescue! I wish there was somebody to rescue. We'll find someone. The Ski Patrol never gives up. We just have to keep looking. Well, I'm getting tired of looking. I know, you can rescue me. But you're perfectly fine. Am I? I don't know. <gasps> ah, help me, I'm falling in the snow and I can't get up. Uh-oh, <laughs> I'll help you, little girl. The Ski Patrol is ready to save you. <laughs> Thanks, Ski Patrol. No problem. That's what ski patrollers do. Now how about some hot chocolate to warm you up? <laughs> well, okay. Mmm, <laughs> scrumptious. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What is it, Tasha? Ah! Help, help, ski patrol, I'm trapped under the snow. <laughs> Don't worry, little trap girl. The ski patrol will dig you out. <laughs> Thank you, Ski Patroller. 
May I have some hot chocolate, please? Of course. Mmm, delectable. Now, wasn't that exciting? Yes, but it would be more exciting to actually save someone. Then let's go find someone to save. Ski Patrol, Patrol to, to the, the rescue! rescue. For inspection, Mounty Pablo? Affirmative, Mounty Tyrone. Prepare to open the vault. The world's biggest snowball. It's magnificent. It certainly is. And it's our duty to protect it. Mounty Pablo, ready for snowball duty. Mounty Tyrone, also ready for snowball duty. Mounties on duty! Snowball duty, guarding the big snowball. Yes, we're on snowball duty, we're Mounties standing tall. Snowball duty, we'll never ever fall, cause we are Mounties on duty, guarding the big snowball. Big and round and twinkling all the Protected by a mounty man. Cause we're on snowball duty, guarding the big snowball. Yes, we're on snowball duty, we're mounty standing tall. Snowball duty will never ever fall. Cause we are mounties on duty, guarding the big snowball. Yes, we are mounties on duty, guarding the big snowball. to keep Fort Invaders out. And Snowball Raiders away. Uh, but what if they try to get in here, into the fort? That would be bad. That would be very bad. But that's why we've got booby traps. That's right. Lots of different booby traps so no one can get in. We better get to work and make sure the booby traps are set. Booby trap check, Mounty Pablo. Affirmative, Mounty Tyrone. Mounties on duty! Hey, look! A snow fort! Maybe someone inside it needs to be rescued! Let's go see! Ski, Ski patrol, patrol to, to the, the rescue! rescue. Booby trap number one, set and ready! Booby trap number two, set and ready! Booby trap number three, set and ready! Mounties on duty! To your post, Mounty Pablo. Affirmative! We need to keep a lookout for those snowboard invaders. And for Snowball Raiders. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, look! Raiders, they want to take our snowball. Don't panic, Tyrone. Pablo. Just stay calm. Pablo. Call the Mounties. Pablo. Yeah? We are the Mounties and will protect our snow fort. But the door to the vault is still open. I'll close it. <laughs> Mountain Pablo, help! Help! Hey, did you hear somebody call for help? Did you hear that? There's somebody in there. And they must need our help. We're coming. We'll save you. Let's go. Ski Patrol, Patrol to, to the rescue. rescue. Raiders, there are raiders outside and they're climbing the steps. Shh, they'll hear us. Sorry, we've got to keep them out. It's time to use the booby traps. Affirmative, Mounty Tyrone. Mounties on duty. We're coming. We're coming to save you. Activate booby trap number one. Affirmative. One, two, three. 
Booby trap number one. The ice, ice ramp. Keep it chilled in the... Whoa! We're sliding back. Whoa! Did you hear that? It worked. Booby trap number one worked. We rule. Raiders can't get in here. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's in trouble. We have to save them. But we can't get to the front door. The ski patrol never gives up. If it's too steep and slippery to walk up, we'll have to climb up. Well, if you say so. Want to use ice suction cups? Ice suction cups? Yeah, come on. Uh-oh. They rang the doorbell. I know. Shh. That means they're at the door. I know. Shh. Nobody's answering. Maybe they're so cold, their lips have frozen together. That does happen. They so need hot chocolate. I wonder who's in there. Who could be inside there? Are they? Scared. How we gonna rescue that soul? Let's push open this door. Yeah, then we can see for sure. Boomies out from Ski Patrol. Someone's in there. Someone's in there. If we don't try to get Trap number three. Affirmative, Mount Tyrone. One, two, three. Booby, Booby trap, trap number, number three. three. The snow block. Well, that didn't go so well. 
We've got to get inside. There's someone in there who needs our help. And our delectable hot chocolate. There's got to be another way. We've tried pushing. We've tried climbing. We've tried ringing the doorbell. But we haven't tried digging. Snow shovel? Snow shovel. Do you think our booby traps worked? I don't know. Do you think someone's still out there? I don't know. Well, what are we going to do? We could look out the window. Great idea, Mountie Tyrone. See any raiders, Mountie Tyrone? Nope, no raiders. See anything, Ski Patrol or Uniqua? Nope, not a soul. There's only one way to be sure the raiders have gone. We have to go down and look around. Rope ladder, Mountie Pablo. Affirmative, Mountie Tyrone. There's nobody in here. Let's look around and make sure. What's that? Mm -hmm. Look, someone dug a hole into our fort. Uh-oh, we can't let them near the snowball. Let's go after them. Look, a window. Maybe someone climbed out. Let's go out after them. That's weird, no one's in here. Where'd they go? That's weird, no one's out here. Where'd they go? Definitely no one in here. You're right. Maybe they got outside somehow. Let's look. Ah! 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 Help! 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 Oh my goodness, someone's in trouble. Come on, we've got to rescue them. Ski Patrol to the rescue. 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 Have some. Oop. Wait a minute. <laughs> yep, still hot. Here you go. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. It certainly is. Hey, good job saving us. That's what ski patrollers do. But what are you guys doing here? We're Mounties, guarding this fort. And protecting the world's biggest snowball from raiders. But we scared him off just before you showed up. Mounties on duty! The world's biggest snowball? Yup. Would you like to see it? Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Wow. wow! Beautiful! Now that's a big snowball. It certainly is. You did a good job guarding. Thanks! Thanks. That's what Mounties do. Mounties, Mounties on duty! duty. Ski Patrol to the rescue! All that ski patrolling made me hungry. Me too. Snack time in my house? Okay. Yeah, okay. snack time! All right. Mounties <laughs> on duty! Ski Patrol to the rescue! <laughs> New kind of adventure, don't you think? Yeah, oh, you yeah. totally. We got the whole wide world in our yard to explore. Now it's time for us to have a snack. Meet you next time when we're back with your friends the backyard again. See you later. Yeah. You'll be right.
Ranger, Rob? Park cheer? Check. I made a list of things to do. <gasps> Are you Stomper? Yipper in the fur. Number 42, meet Stomper. Check. Desert camping was on our list, too. But that's not working out so well. Hmm. Let me take a look. Aha! Here's your problem. Crooked tentacles. <laughs> Desert camping? Cheek! Okay, now let's see. Hmm. Hey, have you guys seen a strange cactus around here? A strange cactus, huh? What did it look like? Well, it kind of looked like uh, a. Rob! Cactus monster! <laughs> Sam? What are you doing in there? I'm seeing what it's like to be a cactus. <laughs> oh, it's Sam! Sam! Good old Sam! Ooh-wee! So glad it's you! <laughs> Ouch! Cactus monster mystery? Solved! Aren't you a little hot in there, Sam? Yep. Want me to help you out of it? Nope. Okay. Let's get this holiday started. Whoa! Look! I have just the thing! Ranger Cave Binoculars! A big sandstorm. 
I'll call Mom and Dad for help. Uh-oh, my wrist comm's not working. The sandstorm must be causing too much interference. Quick, everyone, into Chipper. Let's get out of here. <laughs> This is the most exciting camping trip ever, Ranger Rob. Now, who's up for a swim in the oasis? Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. Oh, look out, oh. Where'd all the water go? <sighs> we must have used all the water for our sand shelter. But don't worry, there's tons of water in the desert. Huh? Yep. Rob, Rob! But it's way underground. <sighs> Stomper, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> no. That you should use your Yeti sniffer to find where to dig for... Sandwiches? Water. Oh. Be right back. <laughs> <gasps> wow. <laughs> Stomper. Look at him go. <laughs> Water below. <laughs> oh, Rob. Feels like a lot of water down there. When it blows, it's gonna go everywhere. Oh no! We need to get the water to the oasis and fast. I'm on a stopper. Chipper, action mode. Ready for action, Ranger Rob. Anybody want to try out Big Sky Park's new water slide? I do! Oh, yay! <laughs> Forgot being a cactus. I want to be a ranger just like you, Rob. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>
long like a day in Big Sky Park. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. We heard there was trouble in the Oasis. Yep, but we took care of it. Good job, Rob. Thanks. <laughs> Stop her. Last one on the water slide is a slow, slow poke yeti. Yeah. to meet your favorite TV star, Rob? I can't wait! Nick Nature, here, in real life, to do a show? I know! He'll be setting up at Cedar Valley Campsite as soon as he gets here. I better get there now if I want a good seat. What am I waiting for? comes to do a show. Yeah! I know. We gotta catch it. We do? So what does a garbage growler look like? <laughs> well, they're, uh, um, and they're, uh, <laughs> You don't know anything about garbage growlers, do you? I know they like spreading garbage. Great. Then I bet they can't resist a nice big pile of garbage. Now we just need something to catch it with. Got it! What, what? It's my homemade growler grabber. Garbage growler is just a silly story. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to meet one. Attention, everyone. Nick Nature has just arrived. 
Attention, everyone. Nick Nature is coming down Jungle Trail on his way to the show. If you want an autograph, now's your chance. Now, Nick Nature is someone I do want to meet. Stomper, we need to stay here and catch the garbage growler. Sam, where'd you come from? Oh, no! There's a garbage mess over there now? Come on! Really? Let me see. You're right. Oh, no! That monkey took Nick's camera. He's gonna need that for his TV show. Shipper, action mode. Ready for action, Ranger Rob? You keep an eye out for the garbage growler. I've got a monkey to catch. Got it. Monkeys like better than TV cameras? Bananas! I have just the thing! Ranger Kit, Ranger Boy! Gotcha! Woo! That was an amazing save, Ranger Rob! Thanks, Nick Nature. I'm your biggest fan. Welcome to Big Sky Park. Want to hear a cheer? Great! When I say Big Sky, you say Park. Big Sky. Park! Big Sky. Park! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, Rob, how would you like to be on my show? Me? On the Nick Nature Show? Okay! Great! Meet you at the Cedar Valley campsite. Yes! Nothing like a day in Big Sky Park. Chipper? Come in, Chipper. <laughs> Wait till I tell Stomper I'm gonna be on the Nick Nature Show. Stomper, what's the matter? G -g 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 garbage growler. Hop in, Stomper. We gotta catch it. Over there. <laughs> you sneaky monkey. That's the garbage growler? A monkey? <laughs> <laughs> wow! It looks like garbage growlers are just a silly old Yeti story. I don't know, Stomper. I'd say Big Sky Park doesn't just have one garbage growler. It has two. What? Two garbage growlers? Yep. Me and you. You sure made a mess down there. Attention, everyone. Nick Nature is almost at Cedar Valley campsite for his show. Oh, no. We've got some cleaning up to do, and fast. Come from. Hey, why do people keep putting garbage in me? Sam, <laughs> I thought you were a garbage can. Oh, I guess everybody else did too. So, so that's, that's where all the garbage, garbage came, came from. from. Hi, Rob. Nick tells us there was some trouble with a monkey. Yep, but I took care of it. Good job, Rob. I'll say, can't wait to have you on my show, Ranger Rob. You're going to be on TV with Nick Nature? You're so lucky. <gasps> hey, Sam and Stomper, 
Do you want to be on the Nick Nature Show with me? Thought you never, never asked. Ask. Okay, Chipper, you can be in it too. It's 